Hey, welcome to the channel. Sesub Drez here. We are in the last day of winter of year 10. I'm excited about moving on to a year 11. Um, I think things are running pretty smoothly. Thing, things tend to break down for winter. Like, I don't produce as much honey. So, I'm out of that. Um, out of rye. And, and all these are because, like, I plan it out, and then with the current stats of my people and happiness, and then, of course, things change, and I use more than I need, than I'm making. But that's okay, because in winter, I expect things to break down. But what we're going to do today is we're going to start upgrading some of these houses over here to stone and we'll start with why not this one and remember all the decorations that i have on the walls will disappear all right and i'll have to redo them so i'm going to lose like the two iron the deer skull there Luckily, I think the ceiling decorations will stay, but definitely not the wall decorations, or the door, or the windows. <laughs> That's okay. Well, let's see. We're going to move Zygmunta and family to this house down here. I find it easier to just do it this way than going into the management screen. Uh, now their happiness is going to go down, obviously, because, yeah. They're no longer living in the nice house with daub on it. Uh... That's okay, because we're going to I think I'm going to improve their roof as well. Just make everything the tier 3 stuff. All right, well, at least that stayed. That's a plus. So let's get to building the new uh, the new stone walls. All right, there we go. All done. Got everybody situated. Got to move back in. 
I'll have to redo the windows and doors. But I did have plenty of limestone to go ahead and insulate it. So yeah. Um, I might have to get some more stone. Let's see how much I can. Yeah, so let me go get some stone and then we'll work on the next house. Okay, second house complete. And as I was moving the people, I noticed I actually got one of my stall workers back. And now I don't have enough stalls. So let's go ahead and put in this final stall over here where it belongs. And I think that's all my stall workers. So, all right, that's all done. So now we have at least one of each shot over here. I plan on probably adding more market stalls to handle like food and resources again tools and clothes and herbs I'm not at 100% yet maybe when I get some more another herbalist we can increase those productions and sales all right so That didn't take too long. Let me make sure I don't have any other mothers back. Oops. Nope, these are all children, so everyone has a job. We do have four, four mothers that'll be coming back eventually. And these children, oh my goodness. Well, this, this person's mother will be back for a minute. These will be back soon. Um, now, look at all the children I have. It's quite a few. But they're, they're unusable until they turn 14. Once they turn 14, then I can make them apprentices and that sort of thing. So, I got like eight years before that happens. Oh, I got some more stuff broken. Right, that's supposed to be that way. Sewing hut, what are you out of? Flex. Of course. I know what you're out of. Alright. My horse is getting old. I really hope they make some new ones soon. I haven't made a lot of male horses. I keep making female horses. Which my poor stallion is worn out. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the the day here. Is 
just ride down the road here a little bit and see if I can find any. Locations. Maybe go across the river. I don't look over here very often anymore. I don't have too much left in this day anyway. Once it hits 1800, I'll go back, grab, I don't know what I grab, the dog. Definitely take the money out because I'll have to pay taxes. I imagine my taxes will be pretty significant. Oh, here's camp that's usually here. Let's see if they added anything to the camp, though. Doesn't look like it. So this camp is the fishing camp, and it will always have this fishing stuff and here it is on the map right here so if you're looking for fishing and hunting stuff come over here and check for this camp oh they look see they did it they added in this little dumped loot thing to it that's nice So, like, the sites got updated with, with the new, uh, stuff. I like, I like that. I like it that it, they didn't just leave it the same old, same old. Let's see the arrows. Is there a bow? I don't see a bow. That's okay, we'll grab some fishing spears. Now what's in the barrels changes some. But like the outside stuff is pretty much gonna be the fishing equipment, so <laughs> it it's a good place to look for those fishing spears at the beginning before you can, like, stand the expenditure of all the linen bread. And then there's a couple sites um, along the, the river. Like right here, um, there's sometimes a fishing spear and a bucket and... And I think along the river, going towards, like, north, I meant south, sorry. But it looks like it's getting time to head back to the homestead. So yeah. Just keep it in mind. I've probably said that, that before in another episode, but I don't know if I pointed to it in the map. Oh look, there's a wagon. What's here? I just rot like a spear maybe. Coming across these in the winter is so much nicer because I can just see it just laying out there. Probably the only thing winter is really good for is, like, looking for the, uh, the loot.
All right, let's see how much money I made since the spring. I don't, I don't take the money out every day anymore because I don't need it. Um, let's see, eighty was it eighty thousand? That's a I'm going to hate to see what my taxes are going to look like. All right. I also want to go ahead and set up my herbalist hut for next season. So stop making potions. I like to set them up early. That way, when it rolls around, I don't have to... Like, they won't start working without me having fixed it. So. so I think that'll do it for this episode. Um, next episode will be in the spring of year 11. So, look forward to that and more expansion. I think we're going to build our second kitchen next year, so... Look forward to that. Um, thanks for stopping by and make sure you do the YouTube things, leave comments, like, subscribe, that, that stuff. Peace.